To God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for gathering us this morning to celebrate your goodness to World Vision and the children and families we serve. We ask guns and blessing as we hold our press conference for the One Voice for Children concert today. May this event glorify your name and bring people closer to you as we recognize that it is you made all our plans possible. Thank you for the gift of resources and people. We pray in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. Good morning. So for those who do not know, I am Caroline Veronilia. I am the World Vision Donor Education Specialist. And I'm David Rioferio, World Vision Public Affairs Manager. We are your hosts this morning. Thank you so much for joining us in our virtual press conference for World Vision's One Voice for Children concert, which is happening on August 29th. Medyo malapit na. That's why we are very excited for this opportunity to further our cause for children. We are also incredibly grateful for the unwavering support of our celebrity ambassadors like Quest, the Perkins Twins, Mr. Christian Bautista, Mr. Augie Alcacid, and Mr. Paolo Valenciano who are with us today. So to start, please welcome World Vision National Director, Mr. Romel Fuerte, as he opens our program and share with you World Vision's work and beneficiaries. Thank you. Thank you very much, Caroline and David. Uh, thank you, everyone. Maayong bunta. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Uh, at World Vision, we are truly, truly appreciative of your uh, time for joining us today for the virtual uh, press conference for the upcoming One Voice for Children con concert. And uh, at World Vision is very uh, grateful to all our celebrity ambassadors here. Uh, Mr. Ogi Alcacid, thank you so much. Quest, Christian Bautista, Perkins Twins, and of course, uh, Paolo Valenciano. You are a blessing to children. You've been part of World Vision journey for, for so many years. And uh, as always, each of you uh, are a blessing no? to, to children's lives, especially during this time. And we are so grateful uh, from World Vision for that all our support, uh, you know, especially, you know, with virtual concerts, that's, that's really challenging, but also uh, meaningful, uh, hope, of course, especially for the children. So as you know, uh, World Vision as a Christian uh, Relief Development Advocacy Organization, uh, we continue to strive to do our best uh, to, to continue the program that we've been doing in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we've been uh, continually uh, providing programs and services to the children like uh, health and nutrition, education, child protection, uh, livelihood uh, for, for the families, disaster risk reduction, and of course, a spiritual nurture for children. Nothing is stopping us, even the pandemic. Uh, so I think more than any time of a given year or situation or circumstances, uh, this time, all the more, the children need needs our support and are working together. And I'm so happy to share with you, and maybe some of you have heard about this or read about, uh, about what we have done at least for the, uh, for the first three months of World Vision COVID-19 emergency response, we are able to reach uh, 5.2 million uh, people across the Philippines. And uh, happy to share that more than 1.2 uh, million of that you know, population that we have reached across the country are actually children. And uh, we are, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, an, it's an accomplishment that we have done because of working together. And we are so grateful to our media partners. You, you guys, you, you did a great job in contributing to the, to the what we have accomplished, especially local media. Uh, we were able to reach the farthest communities in terms of uh, scaling up, you know, infection prevention and control. Uh, you know, letting the, the, the people in the far flung and the remotest areas know how to prevent, you know, being infected by the by the by COVID-19. And, and and the only you know information, the source of information they 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 would have would be through local radio or or, or TV. And we're so grateful for that partnership because that truly that really contributed to what we have we have accomplished in light of our uh, emergency response uh, for COVID-19 and we're so we're so grateful to all of you and, and you know being one for children also means 
having one voice for children. And I think that's an, an, a timely, uh, timely uh, theme, you know, a, a concert, a title for the concert this coming uh, uh, August 29th. And I think to be, to be coming together as one, as one, you know, having that one voice is more critical during this time of the pandemic. We did a, a recent survey you know, a rapid assessment across, you know, our, our area programs in the Philippines. And ito yung nakakalungkot. It's really you know, heart, heart, you know, heartbreaking na, na feedback, na information that we received from the children. You know, 84% of them, you know, they felt worried about themselves, not just about themselves, but also about their families. You know, that's that's big number. 84% of those children said they are so worried about themselves and about their families. You know, children thinking about the impact of COVID-19 to their families' livelihood, to their income, to their food security, and even for themselves, asking, uh, might be infected, or am I going, to, going back to school, uh, given the situation? And this should not be, right? Sh children should be enjoying life. And so World Vision continues to work with uh, various individuals, with corporations, with different, with our government, with different stakeholders to ensure that we continue to give hope to children, especially during this time. And, and also not just giving hope, but providing opportunities to people like you in media and all stakeholders that we are engaging in to prove space, you know, to give hope to the children. And, and one of the things that we've been doing, even in the past, is through child sponsorship. This is a, a life-changing, hope-giving kind of relationship between sponsors and children, where, you know, both the child and the sponsor experience that transformative relationship, where a child will be able to uh, accomplish, to fulfill his or her dreams, but also the sponsor experiencing the opportunity to bless a child wherever he or she in the Philippines. And that's an opportunity that, you know, available for you. And I think more, a number of you here are already World Vision sponsors. And so again, thank you to all our media partners. I've seen in the chat, some of you, not your first time to join uh, press conferences uh, by World Vision, but you just don't know how much impact you're giving to the children, especially, you know, you're, you're spreading that hope across the Philippines. Uh, maybe you just don't know who, you know, among the children that we are uh, reaching out across the country felt that kind of hope that you are spreading through your platform. And so thank you so much for, for being with us today. And uh, again, again, thank you for your time. And, and really, I, it's my prayer that may we all uh, raise our voices for children, especially during this time. Uh, God bless us all. Back to our hosts. Salamat po, Kuya Romel. Uh, I-remind ko lang ano yung ating mga participants. Later, if you want to post about, about this event on social media, you may use hashtag WorldVisionPH and hashtag One for Children. Thank you again, Kuya Romel, for that overview. Now, I'm sure you want to know more about why we are holding this virtual concert. So, to talk more about that, please welcome World Vision's Donor Care Manager, Precious Basco. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to uh, give you a briefer of the One Voice for Children concert that we're going to have on August 29, 2020. That's going to be aired uh, or via FB Live through World Vision's account, and it's going to be free admission. So just to give you a little, a little background of why we are holding that, we wanted to um, be a united community of World Vision um, supporters, World Vision advocates, to be that one voice for children. So uh, currently, um, when we had a rapid assessment, just like Sir Romel's um, message earlier, he, he said something about a survey or a rapid assessment that we did with, uh, with our sponsored children in the communities. And that survey gave us that information that uh, there are lots of issues that the children are facing right now. And one uh, big issue there is, or one of the top issues there, is on health and nutrition. 68% um, of the households are not able to fully meet um, food expenses. Only 25% of the households are able to meet health care and medical expenses. 16% of them do not have sufficient water for drinking and cooking, and even um, some of them do not have toilets of their own for sanitation and hygiene. 
Another top issue is the access to education. 21% of children are either unwilling or unsure um, if they could attend school this coming August 24, whether that's going to be blended learning, remote learning, or online. And 89% of them anticipate challenges on the use of online platform. And the third one is child protection. 42% of parents and caregivers have used physical or, or psychological punishment um, against the, our vulnerable children. And 5% of the parents will send their children to work because they cannot afford uh, to, um, to send them to school. Also, these kind of jobs include high-risk jobs, and they may, might be able to send them to institutions or relatives because they could not afford to help or to support their own, their own children. And so the key message uh, of this concert would be, in an unprecedented global crisis like the COVID-19, when all of us are affected, the most to suffer are the children, the vulnerable families that we serve, the children, the millions of children whose education, health, and well-being are at risk. And if we do not act as one united community that truly cares for them, we are denying them of a better future. So together in this concert, we want to share that one vision, that one hope, that one voice for children. We will also hold a pre-concert webinar, and uh, this is going to focus on parenting during this pandemic. And it's going to be exclusive for World Vision donors and corporate partners. And it's going to be at 5 p.m. via Zoom. So it's going to be before the concert. So the one big challenge during this concert is that how can you be a voice for children during this pandemic? We wanted to, to um, ask the audience also to take concrete um, action items or concrete steps. So one is to give hope by sending a learner's kit to a child. Um, proceeds of the um, donations would be for the back to school kits or the learner kits for the children. We wanted the children to have hope during this time. We wanted them um, to uh, be empowered and be enabled uh, when back to school season comes. And the next is we want to pray for them. We want to cover them in prayer. So we're going to collect prayers uh, during the, the concert and we will uh, print them out and send them through the school kits that we will distribute. So um, our, again, our, our final call to action is that in times of crisis, we need to ensure that our most vulnerable children are safe, healthy, and educated. And that's uh, one of the main reasons why we are holding this concert. We wanted to be that voice for them. We wanted to be one voice for children. So thank you everyone once again for coming to this press launch. Good morning and God bless you. Thank you so much, Ate Press. You know, ang mga bata talaga ang isa sa mga pinaka naapektohan ng secondary impacts ng pandemic. And a lot of them are struggling to stay in school. Marami ang walang gamit. Maraming pamilya ang walang pambili ng gamit even for their food even. So, you know, ang, the best that we can do really right now is to really give them hope and give them kung ano yung mga kinakailangan nila and even their, address their immediate needs because in that way, we can show them that there are people who are supporting them, who are rooting for them and um, matutulungan din natin sila in the future na they can continue to persevere and kahit na mahirap ngayon, ma-encourage natin sila to endure for, during, um, during this time. So, really helpful yung One Voice for Children concert. I know marami tayong matutulungan ng mga bata and mga pamilya and we are really grateful for everyone's support and um, before we proceed any further I would just like to recognize our media partners and bloggers who are with us today. We have Jojo from Manila Bulletin, Alan from Philippine Daily Inquirer, Jerry from Philippine Star, Dara for Click the City, Ika for Team P. Cheng, Richard for Newsmakers, Bianca for GMA Network, Gerald Uy for GeraldUy.com, Mommy Bloggers Philippines, Miss Lani. We also have Marco from Cuento ni Toto, Zarlene for Business World, Nika for Manila Standard, Christina for Manila Times, Sir Conrad for WhatsApp.ph, Ade for Ade to Remember, Jocelyn for Smart Parenting, Aubrey for GMA TV, Iris for Pinay Ads, Lani for Lemon Green Tea, 
Ed Uy for Where is Ed Uy and Maui for 24 Hour Mommy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And um, going back, you know, in the past months, concerts and virtual per performances have been utilized by so many individuals, groups, and organizations to raise funds for specific causes. And even World Vision had songs of hope through Facebook and Instagram before. Kaya naman, it's really exciting that we can organize a big concert like this where we can really celebrate being one voice for children and helping them cope during this time. And also gathering our ambassadors and show our support for these young ones as they begin another school year. Now, speaking of ambassadors, here to show his support is a longtime World Vision ambassador and sponsor since 2004. He has already participated in... Yeah, he's participated in several events. And please welcome uh, ang ating celebrity ambassador, singer, rapper, and songwriter, Quest. Yon, uh, magandang araw sa inyo lahat. It's such an honor to be here today. I am grateful for uh, this event that is about to take place. And maraming salamat World Vision for um, having me. Um, I think being an ambassador is such a responsibility for someone like me. Uh, hindi lang, uh, it, it also keeps me in check as an artist kasi uh, I know that there are a lot of young kids that are looking up to me. Um, and World Vision has given me the platform and the avenue to uh, not just raise awareness, but to really keep myself in check. So World Vision, maraming 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 salamat. I'm excited for the, I'm excited for the online concert and such an honor to be alongside uh, legends of uh, the industry, Sir Augie, uh, Christian, Perkins Twins, and so many more ambassadors that will be joining us. So I am so grateful. I am excited. I am pumped. I'm pumped. Uh, especially for us uh, musicians, ang tagal din namin, you know, uh, nandito lang, walang, walang uh, avenue to perform. So be, uh, trust us that we are going to give beyond 100%. Because sobrang, uh, halos lahat kami gigil kami mag-perform. Uh, we're really excited to share new stuff, and there I am. I am, I am excited. Once again, thank you, World Vision. Uh, the the thing I love about you guys is in and out of season. You know, even when there's no COVID, you guys have always been relentless when it comes to giving hope. When it comes to you know, uh, sharing light, love, and hope to this generation. So I hope that I will always be as relentless as you guys when it comes to just spreading um, positivity, hope, and love to everyone in and out of season. So I'm just grateful. Maraming maraming salamat to the entire World Vision team. And I am pretty excited. I am, I am just, uh, as much as, I'm, as, much as um, I want to, Start now, I think I'm gonna wait for the 29th. I think it's on the 29th to be able to give everything that I have. Um, man, sablang gigil ako perform and I'll be sharing new stuff, uh, new music also. Uh, that's all I've been doing during the pandemic is just create music and make sure that my, you know, my, uh, myself, my personal growth as a human being, so. There, I am. Walang imposible. And thank you to everybody, uh, media, uh, bloggers. Thank you for doing this. I hope that we can spread awareness um, to everybody so that they can tune in and, you know, we can raise funds, awareness, and just spread this kind of positivity and hope during this time. Uh, so there, thank you. Thank you so much. Walang imposible. Sige lang, sige. Isang malaking saludo. The world vision. Thank you. Hey, Quest. Thank you, huh? You know, guys, see Quest, uh, naka work namin siya before in the Department of Education, if you remember Quest. You did yeah. a song, diba yung balik sa, I think this is with the National yes. Youth Council, yeah. if you remember. 
Yeah, with Manny Angeles, direct Manny yeah. Angeles. And then, ang galing noon. I mean, di ba? I mean, talagang ang ganda ng song na ginawa niya, pinapabalik niya yung mga, mag, mga batang hindi nag-aaral sa eskwelahan. And did you know that si Quest, he's very active in church in Victory, Alabang, magkasama kami. And then, isa doon yung kinompose mo na kanta, right? I mean, yung napakaganda na song. Pakanta naman yung, uh, a few lines of that song. I heard a lot. Like, I think, uh, yeah. what, what, what song is this? Anong... Uh, I, I forgot the line. I, nalimutan ko eh, pero basta yung isang pinakasikat na song na kinanta mo dun sa... Uh, I think one of the songs that I've, been, I've written for church mm-hmm. uh, before, before Quest, before I started, you know, performing in, in the mainstream industry, I've been very, I'm still immersed. I'm still involved yeah. in church, but church has been the very foundation of why I do what I do. Uh, mm-hmm. I yeah. most of my you know, my vision as an artist really was birthed when I got involved in church. So one of the songs that I did was Lord of All. Yeah, um, that's it. Lord of All. Uh, I, I might sing that on 29th, but I'll give you guys just a sneak peek. Um, want to live for you, be glorified forever. My life will declare you alone, alone, everything I me. Use it for your glory that everyone will see, will hear, will know you are Lord of all. Oh, galing! Thank you, ah. Quest, thank you so much. We appreciate that. I know that yeah. you dedicate that to the Lord and, of course, to all our children. Maraming maraming salamat ulit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, papakilala ko naman yung ating susunod na supporter, no? ating, ating ambassador. Again, thank you, Quest, for that heartwarming uh, brief performance and message. We really appreciate you coming to support One Voice for Children. Now, another talented guest we have is a longtime supporter and sponsor since 2004 and who's been with us in several events like the Loyal Donor Dinner and our Noche Buena campaign. Please welcome Christian Bautista. Hi, everybody. Just checking if everyone can hear me. Okay, naman. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hard times, pero here we are just still doing our best to move forward, to gather what strength we have or what we have left, to encourage other families or other people rin, uh, who may have, who may still have some to give. Kasi as I think about parang now what we're doing, uh, we're, we're, we're in an office somewhere or we're in a house. We have internet. We have lights on. Yung iba sa atin naka-electric fan. Yung iba sa atin naka-aircon. But there are really some communities, as you know, na wal- walang wala. Walang wala po talaga. And nung April nga and May, um, uh, Everyone was, you know, just really affected because we didn't know what to do. Come June, July, August, we sort of, sort of tried to get our bearings. But uh, hindi po talaga pa dapat matapos ang pagtulong, lalo na ngayon. Even before COVID, and dami pong uh, children, uh, families na kailangan ng tulong. Ngayon pa. So the help goes on, uh, the fundraisers go on, the artists continue to sing, the artists continue to inspire, to create, and uh, here we have World Vision continuing, even though mas mahira pa ang sitwasyon ngayon, uh, doing their best to really educate children still kahit walang skwela, imagine that, to feed children still kahit kailan ka social uh, distance, to operate an office Kahit na skeletal crew. So, it, it's tough. It's tough for everyone, even for everyone who is here. But uh, we're hanging in there. Uh, we're praying that the vaccine comes soon. We're praying that the cases go low. Uh, and we just want to continue this encouragement. We just want to continue this fight para sa mga kabataan ng Pilipina and all over the world. And it will be done again through a wonderful uh, fundraising concert. We just really need uh, your help, Samidia, to again, uh, hopefully, uh, spread the word again for uh, this concert. And uh, it's free, you know. We want to inspire a lot of people. 
inspire them to the point that if they may still have a little bit that they may still be able to give. I'll keep it short. Uh, God bless everyone. Thank you for your time. Am I supposed to sing as well? Uh, yeah, David? please. Oh my, hindi mo pinakawalan si Quest eh, ganina eh. <laughs> Sabi yeah. na nga niya sa concert eh, pero eto rin. Um, uh, ito, ito. So, tawa si Quest. Oh, ayan. I miss everyone who is here. Um, I have a... And it's funny kasi like what Quest said or Jose said, parang <laughs> ngayon nasa quarantine tayo, parang ang dami naming nagawang mga kanta, ang dami naming na-create. Here's, here's one that I recently released. We are here for you. We're all in this together. We will not let you go. We will fight the pain together. Let this song soothe your soul. Let it be a reminder. We are here. We are here for each other. We thank you for being here. We thank you that uh, you will share the word. And uh, we hope to see you there. We hope that you can watch as well. God bless. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Christian. Alam nyo, no? Uh, naalala ko sa sinabi niyang we are here. Kasi ang brain natin, uh, when it shows blanks, it tries to fill in the gaps. Dahil matalino nga ang brain eh. Same with the body. Uh, it's proven by science that if a part of the body lacks a certain protein, all parts of the body will shut down you know, and try to give distribute the protein to that part of the body. So sa atin, bilang isang Pilipinas, bilang isang, you know, isang simbahan or isang organization, tayong mga may kaya, tayong, yun nga, sabi nga ni Christian, yung mga naka-aircon, yung nasa isang bahay pa na merong, you know, merong sapat na mga resources, pwede tayong mag-share doon sa mga kabataan na, na walang-wala talaga. So again, thank you Christian for sharing your your beautiful song. Abangan namin yan nasa concert. Salamat. Okay. Um, okay. Ito yung sweet performance kanina ni Christian and Quest. Uh, I'm sure that this is just a sneak peek uh, of what in store for us for One Voice for Children virtual concert on August 29. Now, since we have already started introducing our ambassadors, please help me welcome a new addition to the World Vision family and the director of our concert, Mr. Paolo Valenciano. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just uh, want to thank World Vision for um, uh, reaching out to me, for, for collaborating with me for um, this project. Uh, and I just want to echo, um, you know, some of the, the sentiments or some of the things that um, Sri Christian uh, said. No, uh, we are basically living in the weirdest, <laughs> the weirdest of times. And, yeah. um, uh, you know, to be complete, I'm sure, I mean, I, we don't even have to really get into the details of it. I know that a lot of people are struggling right now. A lot of um you know that for for us from the entertainment industry, um, uh, it's completely, you know, I wouldn't say collapsed, but it it's gone on a full stop for now. Um, so a lot of us in a lot of us in the industry are, uh, you know, a lot of us went through mga existential crisis. You know, um, being a non-essential worker that that has uh, an impact that that's made an impact on a lot of my colleagues, a lot of the people that I. I that I work with, a lot of the people that I look up to. So it's it's really a challenging time. And so when um, World Vision came up with this this project, it sort of, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, it, it's not just, I feel like it's not just good for, it's not just good for the beneficiaries. It's not just good um, for the group or for the children, but it's really also um, giving us um, people in the entertainment industry, it gives us, uh, it gives us more purpose. You know, it gives us uh, more direction. Uh, yung na feel namin na may nagagawa kami ng mabuti para sa sa bayan. No more than just singing songs, more than just um, creating content. Uh, so this is something that's really close to my heart because uh, I grew up always, you know, being the kuya to the Pangilinan clan. Uh, you know, when Sila, when Sila Frankie, Sila Donnie, Sila Kiana, when they were all kids, 
you know, it was always my responsibility to to sort of uh, take care of them, make sure that they're engaged, entertained, and all that. So this doesn't feel like work at all, you know. I mean, like just knowing that we are doing this to be able to um, support children that have been um, heavily affected by this. And uh, I, ako personally, at one of my my one of my goals really for the project is to be able to reach out uh, to parents, to other parents who have struggled through the the lockdown. Um, you know, we we have one daughter, so we we that added a lot of uh uncertain it added a lot of stress uncertainty anxiety uh knowing that our daughter was growing up in this uh this new new normal no so i i feel that i'm not alone in this i'm sure uh the other parents who are here today you know what i'm talking about uh it's it's parang jumping yung going between stress because you don't know uh how your kid how this is going to affect your kid mentally and then jumping from that to being so stressed kasi wala silang kalaro and they want to play with you 24 hours a day <laughs> so uh, it's a it's a it's a roller coaster ride of emotions and um you know i'm i'm just i just feel very honored and and very thankful that i'm uh you know that we are part of a project like this that can sort of like address some of the, the the issues and situations. And I do feel, you know, I do feel like it's not, it's something that needs to be, um, it, it needs to be talked about some more. Uh, we're not, we don't know, we don't know the psychological effects on children. You know, there, it's too soon to know what the psychological effects are. Um, so, so we really need to be, mindful of how this entire situation the lockdown the pandemic uh, you know i i know that my daughter seeing me stressed out because of work you know there are times that we can't we can't hide it eh, especially in this lockdown there's a lot of things that you can't hide uh, that you can't hide from each other anymore so i know that um leia seeing me um you know struggle um seeing me emotionally drained emotionally struggle with my wife and all you know because of the because of what's happening now it, that has an effect on them and i you know i i i guess i'm you know i am from a more privileged uh, a more privileged uh, family so we really need to be more aggressive we really need to be on the offensive we really need to reach out and 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 help uh, the parents who are not as privileged as me uh, do, who are who are in um, areas that are not um, suitable for children in areas that are hard hit by 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 COVID. There are so many there are so many areas, so many parents I know that are um, are really struggling. So this um, this really has a special place in my heart because I feel like this is one of the few one of the few ways that I could uh, you know make a difference uh, and make a difference in the uh, the country right now. Please don't ask me to sing. <laughs> I don't want to sing after Jose, after Quest and Christian Bautista. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, World Vision. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sir Paolo. Thank you for um, sharing with us how this pandemic has impacted you and your family. No, I'm, I'm sure a lot of us can relate how yung nangyayari ngayon has widened our perspective and really allowed us to introspect kung ano yung mga privileges natin and opportunities where we can give and where we can help other people. And yun nga, um, mahirap na yung panahon ngayon and it's really a challenging time but we really have to continue pushing forward and really find ways on how we can support each other kasi sama-sama talaga nating malalampasan itong pandemic na ito, itong um, crisis na ito and we shouldn't leave anybody behind if you are in a position to help you can help in any way that you can be it by time or money or um, even with your influence or platform magagamit natin yan so thank you again sir paulo i'm sure the concert will be a wonderful celebration ng pagbabayanihan ng ating mga world vision ambassadors supporters donors sponsors and even staff and that includes our active youth ambassadors who toured around schools all over the country to advocate against bad habits, 
So please welcome the Perkins twins, Jesse and Christian. Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, we're the twins and actually it's kind of hard to go after all of these amazing guys here, but uh, we're just going to share a little bit also of what kind of this whole situation has taught my brother and I. But first of all, thank you World Vision for having us and for inviting us to this awesome project, this concert. It's going to be so much fun and also members of the press. Um, thank you for being here and supporting as well. Uh, like, like Quest said earlier, I know all everyone here. We're gonna we're gonna put on a good show for all of you, and uh, hopefully more than that, we're gonna be able to inspire and encourage the people who watch and listen, um, and ultimately uh, help the people who really need help. And just kind of like I said, it's all been said already this morning from uh, these amazing guys. But um, during this time, of course, it's hard, and and it, it can be a dangerous time for for all of us to keep thinking about ourselves and not to say that all of our problems are diminished, but it's more of a, if, if we start thinking more about other people, um, it can also uh, help our feeling that, oh, okay, um, I'm, not, I'm not put on this earth for me. I'm put on this earth. God, God put, placed me where I'm at uh, to be a blessing to other people, to help other people. So I just think that's a beautiful thing what World Vision is doing. And I, I'm not sure who mentioned it earlier, but Real Vision's always uh, stepped up to the challenge, even without any of these um, pandemics or anything. They're always doing amazing things. So we're just happy and blessed to be part of this organization. And um, yeah, it's it's exciting. And we can't wait to uh, sing more songs for all of you guys uh, on the 29th. Yes. So uh, right now we're going to do just a quick little uh, sample, uh, a snippet of one of our songs uh, called Count That. This is for uh, everyone at World Vision, everyone who's uh, involved in this. Uh, yeah, real quick. Actually, we sing this song all the time at like the other World Vision events, but the reason why we're singing this again was, first of all, it's for all of like, the members of the press. But also, we wanted to do just a teaser because we actually have uh, some uh, cool songs that we're going to sing uh, on the concert day itself, but this is a teaser for all of you. So here it is, for all of you. There you go. Yo, and so ikaw na, kayo na, and uh, like my brother said, we're just so happy and blessed uh, always to work with World Vision and uh, all of uh, the legends, like Wes mentioned earlier, uh, and we're excited for the show, and uh, like the Bible says, uh, we're supposed to not only look out for our own interests, but look out for the interests of others, so uh, we really appreciate World Vision for always doing that, looking out for the interests of others, and uh, we're excited for the concert and excited for uh, the future ahead uh, that's going to be bright, brighter, God willing. So thank you, guys. God thank bless. you. God bless. Thank you, Jesse and Christian. Grabe, nabitin ako dun sa, ano, sa pa-sample, but I'm <laughs> sure marami pang um, time for that during the concert. So we are really excited to see more of you guys sa ating One Voice for Children concert on August 29. Again, I would just like to remind our media um, media members and bloggers who are joining us here today to use the hashtag WorldVisionTH and hashtag One Voice for Children when you post anything about this press con. Um, this day because we would like to be able to share that as well. So don't forget to use our hashtag. Now for our last special guest for this morning, please welcome a well-respected musician and faithful World Vision partner, Sir Augie Alcasi. Hi. Uh, good morning. I'm the good youngest morning. guy here. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, thanks so much to World Vision for uh, including me today. Hi, Paolo. Hi, Christian. Hi, Perkins. Hi, Jose. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, I was hearing everybody talk, and I was kind of writing down notes of what they were saying. Uh, see, Quest said something about uh, that he's pumped up, and Christian said something about... Uh, encouraging everybody. Uh, Paolo said something about having the purpose and the Perkins twins said something about that we are all blessed. And I just want to echo all of what you guys said that is all true but I'd also like to think that today we are all together here this morning 
because we are all called to inspire people. Um, yes, it's true. We're, we are going through difficult times. We are going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Um, but we're here. So today, I think the word that I like to leave with you guys is the word inspire. See, I've, I've been with World Vision for many, many years now. And every time that I do a project with them, and every time they think of a project, I am always inspired. And I'd like to think that this project, even if, even if you do not donate, even if you do not give a single peso, but if, if we are able to communicate and inspire other people out there who will be watching because of what we're going through, I think that's, that's really, really special. Um, there is this thing called donor fatigue, you know? And I think all of us who are here today, doesn't matter if you're an artist or you're part of World Vision, of your, or if you're Sir June, or if you're a, 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 a blogger, a vlogger, or a press person, all of us are part of one team. And we're here as one voice for the children. So I just want to echo everybody's uh, uh, voices today by saying, let's, let's do this despite the challenges, because we are blessed, because we are pumped up, because we want to encourage and because we want to inspire. Um, another thing is, that another big purpose is that he's in August 29, correct? Yeah, birthday ko din sa August 27. Kung kaya, it's... <laughs> Joke lang yun. <laughs> I don't have a party, so I might as well have a party with you guys. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's... um. I think it's exciting that we're going to do this. I am very, very excited, despite the difficulties. Um, so I, I, I just want to encourage everybody, doesn't matter what you're, what you're going to do for the show, but let's help each other as a team. Let's, uh, you know, uh, carry the message across through social media and through, um, whatever platform that, that we are doing this as one voice for children because as i said there is there is donor fatigue so let's go out there uh and do the show and inspire people and uh by god's grace let's get a lot of people to help us because if they help if you help us help them then we're going to be helping a lot a lot of people so um i i guess that's all i have to say this morning do I have to sing too? <laughs> Ogi, maybe. Uh, hi, I'm David. Maybe hi, can, David. I like the maybe, way you spell your name, David. Yeah, maybe you can say hi, hello. It's nice to see you again. Hi, hello. Hey, wait a minute. That's my That's song. All. <laughs> I love that song. Anyway. Really? You know, I don't even sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because you see, hi, really? hello. It's nice to see you again. David you probably Fox. know it better than I do. No, maybe you can sing it for, you know. Oh, perhaps. my goodness. I, I, I hate to disappoint you, but I, I, I can't remember. You know why I don't know that song? Why? Because I didn't write it. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was written for me. But it, you are right. It's one of those songs that... Um, yeah. Maybe you I, can sing something for, you know, for our media friends. I'm really more of a rapper, see? So, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see, you <laughs> Oh. <laughs> So I, I, I think um, I'll probably sing something new. Because mm -hmm. like everybody else, I've been like uh, scribbling and writing some, some songs. And interestingly enough, I wrote this song when I was uh, in, uh, during quarantine. Because I had to do quarantine because I, I had, uh, had a little bit of a crazy episode where I had a rapid test and... I was IgG positive, but it turned out I was uh, negative to swab. So, but I think it was just God wanting me to be with him alone for a couple of days. And um, because of that, I was able to write something. 
Uh, this one is called Panginoon Ikaw Lama. And it, maybe I should sing it also on the 29th, but if this is really new, I'll sing it to you. So, Panginoon Ikaw Lama. Panginoon Ikaw Lama Ang kailangan ko Sa buhay ko Panginoon maghari ka Sa puso ko Magpakailan Pamahal Jesu Cristo Ikaw ay banal Ang iyong pangalan Aking sinasamba Nagpapasalamat At nagagala Dahil sa iyong pagmamahal Ako'y iyong niligtas Sa aking mga kasalanan Sa iyong pagkamatay At muling pagkabuhay Ikaw ang daan At katotohanan Ang buhay na walang hanggan Ang ginoon ikaw lamang Ang kailangan ko sa buhay ko Pain Panginoon maghari ka Sa puso ko magpakailan Pama Wow Salamat, ah. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us, Augie, you know, uh, that we should just, you know, fix our eyes on Jesus no matter what happens, be good or bad, you know, thick or thin. Yes. Maraming salamat. Mm -hmm. I will try to remember hello for you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> but it's one of your uh, beautiful songs. Thank so you. maraming, maraming salamat uh, sa ating po mga ambassadors. Please stay dahil meron pa tayong tanungan mamaya with our media partners. Thank you again, Augie, Jesse, Christian. Paolo, Christian, and Quest. I can just imagine how star-studded our One Voice for Children virtual concert will be. And maraming maraming salamat po talaga sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa aming mga batang inaalagaan sa World Vision. Uh, now, since we're all already here, let's take this opportunity to have a group photo before we open the floor for questions from bloggers and members of the press. Prefer deeply. Okay, so let's just flash your smile. I'll count one, two, three. One, two, three. I'll go to the next screen. One more. One, two, three. Last one. This is the new version of uh, Photo Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, smile. All right. Sir Ferdi is our boss from Comco PR, our longtime partner at World Vision. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Carol, please. So, yeah, now, uh, while waiting for uh, the transition, again, yeah, thank you so you much. Go. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we can invite okay, them sorry, now. Sorry, I was on mute. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for... Um, that very quick photo op. Now, we're opening the floor to your questions for our ambassadors as well as for Sir Romuel Fuerte, Ms. Precious Basco, and World Vision Resource Development Director, Sir June Godorne. So, ganito po ang gagawin natin, ano? Maybe you can kindly raise your hand or type in your name and publication in the chat, chat box. So, we can call you for the interview. And please also don't forget to introduce yourself before asking your question. Ayun, so si Jerry Donato would want to ask something. Tama, kakanta rin si na, ano, no, yung ating mga media partners. Tama ba, Carol? Oo, oh, oh, required, required okay. sila. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Because it's thank a you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, si Sir Jerry, Jerry, yes. What's your question? Can we unmute Sir Jerry?
Ayun, yeah, we can see you. Naka-mute ka pa. Uh, Sir yeah. Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Yun, there oh. we go. To have my audio now. Okay. Yes. My question is for, I know, for Christian and, um, for Christian and Augie. Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. My question is, um, do you think your advocacy in some extent is part of your identity as an artist? Do you think your advocacy, in, in some extent, is part of your identity as a singer, performer, artist? Thank you for that question. I want to ask kung uh, Sir Augie would like to answer that first <laughs> or should I do it first? Ikaw na, ikaw na. Hirap eh. Can I get my translator? <laughs> you ha it has to be. It has to be. Um, Para maging ambassador ka for any organization or any corporation or if you're endorsing a brand, you somehow have to be vetted somehow. And as imperfect as we are, we do our best to have good identities. As imperfect as we are, we do our best to still uh, stand up, to still encourage to still uh, promote goodness. And sabi rin nga tato ni uh, Paolo, direct Paolo kanina. But also because of these projects, it helps us build better identities as well. Kasi nga may mga responsibility na kami. Eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi na talaga kami pwedeng basta-basta lang talaga. Yeah. And uh, so as we help uh, World Vision for this project, they help us as well, keeping us in check as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, may answer, Ogs. <laughs> it's the best answer. So far? So far. Right. So far. <laughs> this is I, pa lang. I don't think I can better that answer. <laughs> but, um, wow, advocacy and identity. Um, you know, just, just recently I've been hearing, I've been hearing this, this phrase. And I don't want to uh, pinpoint where exactly I heard it, because I think you will know that there are certain things given to us which are, which is not a right, but is a privilege. I'm sure you've heard that in the recent past. <laughs> and I think that sort of applies to our role as ambassadors of, um, of uh, world vision. It is a privilege for us to be part of this group. Uh, if you're going to study how World Vision began and what it's doing all over the world, you will be so impressed with the organization, especially with what it's doing here in the Philippines. Um, and it doesn't stop. The work does not stop. Uh, and they're true to form. You know, most especially during times like these, that there's a crisis. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been soldier, sold shoulder to shoulder with them during the, you know, I've seen them in, <laughs> in mm -hmm. Tal Volcano and all sorts of uh, mm -hmm. uh, crises, and they've always been there. Mm -hmm. Crises are not there, there. Mm -hmm. So for us, to be part of this is really a privilege. Now, I don't know if I answered that question. Mm, yeah. Is that part of our identity? I think, yeah. I, oh, thank you for saying that. Um, I don't want to, to say anything about it. <laughs> uh, I, I think Christian said it perfectly that he said, we try to be as perfect as we can, you know, and that uh, the organization keeps us in check. Um, <laughs> I think that holds true for me too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. not every time that I can I am available for World Vision. That's I mean you can ask everybody, but when I can, I cannot just want to give like sixty percent of myself. I'd like to give a hundred and fifty percent of myself so that yeah. you know, uh, what I give is what I am what it's what is best. Mm -hmm. What is the best output. So mm -hmm. 
Um, I think I'm just a little embarrassed to answer the question, mm -hmm. but, um, but that sort of summarizes what I feel. Uh -huh. Thank you for that. Yeah. The reason why I ask that, because it's common observation from an outsider that for artists, parang, it come, parang nat natural sa buhay ng artists na eventually na kapag na-establish nila yung name nila, then they get involved in advocacies that they would like to you know, pursue and very close sa kanilang mga, mga adhikain din sa buhay. <laughs> parang part yun ng art, buhay ng artists na magkaroon ng advocacy. Yeah, I think it's part of really giving back and, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, helping because we've been helped. Mm -hmm. um, I think you get to a point, I can't speak for everybody here because the Perkins mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. are obviously very young, mm -hmm. uh, but they, I think they have the foresight and the fortitude, you know, to be able to serve. I think there is that part of us Mm -hmm. that really just wants to serve in, in, in no matter what capacity. But since, we're, since we sing and since we make mm -hmm. people laugh and Paolo directs and, you know, uh, and, and Quest uh, writes songs and sings and, 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 and raps and Christian is a, you know, just Dancer. a a wonderful human being. <laughs> you know, we, I think there is just a part of us that just want to, wants to serve. And World Vision is, is that avenue uh, that we have been privileged. I, don't, I can't say we chose, mm -hmm. but we've been privileged to be part of. So, mm -hmm. uh, but thank you for saying that. Uh, mm -hmm. makes, me, makes me feel old, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, last question for Augie and Christian. Do you think mas naging productive kayo sa panahon ng pandemya kumpara dun sa mga nakaraang panahon? You know, oh, it, yeah, go ahead, sir. Oh, you, I'm sorry. You you go ahead. Kasi inaanak ko to si Christian mauna kami. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Ninong. Thank you. Uh, uh, Songwriting-wise, yes. Mas naging productive ako. Creating content. Yes. Partnering you're a gamer. with... I, I, I know you're a gamer, man. G gaming, uh, so you're many different things. Uh, I've been partnering with different people, uh, trying to earn then in uh, so many ways online. Mm -hmm. Pero the best part na nangyari in relation to what we're doing is... Hmm. especially nga, during April, May, is ang daming fundraising na concerts yeah. na napakita ng lahat ng artists, new, young, old, legends, lahat na talagang tulong-tulong, uh, uh, nagkakaisa, walang bayad, pero hmm. talagang, sige, labanan natin to together as one, as a country, <laughs> as one voice. Uh, and... I, nga, sabi nga ni uh, Sir Ogi, it still cannot stop. Hindi pa tayo pwede mapagod. Kahit napagod na tayo, hindi pa tayo pwede mapagod. Kasi mas mar napakadami pang kailangan pang tulungan. Yun lang po. Thank you. Um, thanks, Christian. Uh, as far as productivity, um, I think productivity in a different sense because if I'm going to look back at my schedule be prior to the lockdown, I'm just looking at my pictures and my goodness, it was crazy. I was flying from one country to another in, in a matter of weeks, months, and it, was, it just, was just crazy, you know? So yes, I was productive. I was going out uh, of the country and singing and, and doing all of that and doing concerts and all that, but now that I was in a lockdown, I was more productive internally uh, for myself. Um, and and, and the, the production was, yes, songwriting. I, I'm now back in school a bit. Uh, I enrolled in, a, in, a, in a Ravi Zacharias' school, which will start next month. And there is just that room for us to we, we can't stop. We just need to keep growing and growing. Uh, if that spells productivity, then probably it is. 
Uh, I'm now better at washing dishes. Um, <laughs> me too, me too, yes. Uh, I'm now, well, I used to do the laundry, pero nung dumating na yung driver, uh, sila na. So I was doing that. I was walking the dogs every day. You know, because we, we didn't have household help for about three months during the early part of the lockdown. So it was just us doing productive productive work. You were tired the whole day, doing everything, taking care of the kids and all that. And at, at night, um, I would just sleep. You know what I call that? I call that living. <laughs> you know, for the very first time, yeah. I, I felt, and I don't want to diminish the fact that people are suffering, okay? I don't mm. want to say that. But the positive effects of this lockdown was I felt like I was living. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we, of course, with stress, with anxiety, with mm -hmm. worrying and all of that, with no income, <laughs> <laughs> you know, after what happened to us. And, you know, of course, what happened to us. And, um, but... You know, it just doesn't stop. We just got to keep on moving and moving and waking up and sh just just showing up, just showing up. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I have a hard time answering questions. but uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's the best answer I can give. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jerry, Christian, and Augie. Okay. Para dun sa iba pa nating media partners who'd like to ask questions, just raise your hand. Ika is to... raising her hand right now. Ayan, Ika Ontiveros Cheng from TT Cheng. Yes, hi, good morning. Hi. Hi, I won't turn on my camera anymore. Um, my question is for um, Direk Paolo Valenciano. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, my question is, um, what are some of the things that we can expect during the One Voice for Children virtual concert? What can, what, what are you thinking of uh, doing? What are you cooking up for the concert? <laughs> so definitely, we're you can expect a lot of in, inspirational, um, inspirational numbers. But, uh, you know, when I when I work on uh, a lot of the shows, uh, you know, every every concert that I've worked on, uh, yeah, and for sila Christian, sila uh, Tito Ogi, I've actually done three uh, all of their concerts. <laughs> um, it's I focus a lot on the heart because uh, for me, uh, you can you can make it pretty, you can make it uh, you know give it all the the best tech that that you can. In this case, the online show can really look glossy and and it can flow smoothly and all that but without the heart without the key message um it it really won't have any relevance uh so you can expect that we are really going to um i, I don't want to use the word who got pero we're really gonna try to get into your hearts and into <laughs> your uh you know to really move you guys uh and then of course you know it doesn't hurt it won't hurt to make it a little pretty, you know, to make it a little, uh, a little glossy. Uh, so we wanna, you know, we wanna be able to give, uh, you know, world vision. We wanna be able to give the viewers uh, a, a a very nice, very uh, well paced, uh, smooth um, experience. Uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have been doing uh, these online concerts, and a lot of my, you know, my fellow directors are have been trying all kinds. Of things to try and uh, level up uh, the online the online community or the online concert the online streaming uh, industry uh, but for this one I wouldn't I, I wouldn't put too much focus on that because I think that we our priorities really are you know to to move people uh, in the biggest way possible I hope that answered your question. Did I answer your question? I'm not, I'm not good at answering yes. questions also. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for that. And uh, we're definitely looking forward to um, feeling the, uh, the emotions uh, during the concert. So thank you. Thanks, Ika. Others, baka ho mayroon pa tayong tanong, just raise your hand or type in the chat box. So, tulad ng sabi ni Christian kanina, no? it's really the realizing that 
we are responsible adults now. That's why we're doing this. And Ogi saying a while ago that it's a privilege. And for for Paolo, that we're here to give inspiration to a lot of people. See, Aubrey Carampel is uh, is raising her hand. Please, Aubrey. Wait, hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning pa rin ba? <laughs> good morning. Yeah, Hindi ko na alam po anong oras eh. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is for the artists and maybe Derek Paolo can also answer. Because everyone is um, working from home. I know parang uh, this is uh, uh, very challenging. Um, what is the most challenging part of working from home? Especially yung artists kasi uh, they used to to singing live with audience. So what is the most challenging part of staging this kind of uh yung online concerts, um, ano yung mga kailangan yung gawin, and uh, uh, ano yung mga uh, parang uh, ano ba yung nasabihin ko? <laughs> Teka, <nakawala. laughs> Sige lang, go. Ano yung may mga kailangan ba na hindi nyo naman ginagawa before when you're doing live? Kung baga parang nag, may mga nagkailangan ba, may binili pa kayong mga equipments, ganyan. So, parang ano yung pinakamahirap from working from home? Lahat! <laughs> I know, Christian. Lahat. Right? I know, Lahat. Right? Thank you Lahat. for that question. I'd like to pass it to Jose. Pwes? <laughs> Ayan. Pwede ba pakisagot? <laughs> Mas magastos ba pag working from home din? Walang makeup I, artist, walang PA, ganyan, anong... I think it's that setting up setting up the, you know, the environment to for you to sound good. But I think the biggest problem that we all face is internet connection, you know? <laughs> and the most annoying thing is sometimes you're in the middle of a beautiful performance, kaya naghang ka, so parang um, that and not being, not, not being able to connect like on the physical with my fan base because I like interacting with my crowd every time I perform. So yun yun miss ko. Other than that, it's really for me, it's the internet connection. That's the biggest <laughs> challenge for me. You know? Um, and I think being able to invest on equipment would help us in the long run. It's not just during the pandemic. It's going to be helpful for us. So adami ko rin natutunan when it comes to you know, setting up a uh, good audio for um, online live performance. But I think for me, it's the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Twins, beside the internet. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, the same thing, man. And it's it's interesting because my brother and I, we, we love to perform. Like, we don't even, it's not for ourselves. Like, we love to to see other people smile and have a good time. So that's what's kind of hard about it. So what we do is we put our cat right in front of our camera so we can sing for our cat. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> the hardest thing that, that we have to deal with. And also we, we, we do like to do some like uh, upbeat, like dancing kind of stuff as well sometimes. So uh, when we have to tone it down to like the acoustic stuff or stuff like that, that's it's just a little different. So I'm not saying it's bad because we still like that as well. but. The main thing is definitely not being able to see people and and uh, that, but it's cool too because they have, you know, they can comment like, "Oh, uh, I enjoy it." So it's it's just different, but you know, you gotta deal with it. So it's fun. <laughs> so si Direk Paolo, lahat daw. Okay, thank you, Direk. Uh, clear naman, Direk. Clear naman, simple and clear. A- ako naman po ano, uh, yung yung nakat gusto ko lang tumayo. Gusto kong tumayo, maglakad sa stage. Katulad ng sabi ni Jose, kumonek. Kasi we're stuck eh. We're stuck now sa, sa camera na to. Hindi kami pwede gumalaw ng masyado. Hindi ako dancer pero gusto kong gumalaw. Gusto kong pumunta sa stage left. Gusto kong pumunta sa stage right. Gusto kong makakita ng audience sa likod. Yung equipment, madali na naman. Once mag-YouTube ka na naman, makukuha mo na lahat yan through uh, grab or lala move or whatever. Pero the energy ng, katuloy nga sa ni Jose, the energy na binibigay mo at nabibigay ng isang live audience. Pareho, pareho ako. Ninong, Ogs? I. <laughs> I agree. 
I agree with everybody. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs> I really, really miss, it, especially when I see pictures of, you know, us performing on stage. And although we've been able to go to ASAP um, sporadically, uh, but then MECQ na naman. So um, it it is just it's just different, you know. Um, and although the norm is we're being for i think what we're going through right now is just this is the origins of something that will be part of our lives for a very very long time yes. so all this internet connection problems uh, i think it's uh, in, intimacy and, in, in, and internet <laughs> you know <laughs> um but there's hope you know uh the president said we should improve on our wi-fi and stuff like that. Once that happens, I think we'll be available to everybody. Um, I, to be honest, I don't really see live performance coming back in in the near future. You know, that makes me so sad. Makes me so sad. But that's that truth. Um, to answer your question, Aubrey, mas mahirap, mas mahirap talaga siya. I mean, I was doing one concert with Paul just recently for a corporate show, and I was just calling him all the time. And, wow, what's happening? <laughs> you know, because um, I we're in the beginning of this thing, and it's we're just getting accustomed to it. So, but I think we need to get better at it, despite the challenges. Um, and we will, we will. Uh, we haven't met yet for this concert. I don't know if, are we doing a Zoom for this concert or what are we doing? Yeah, okay. So uh, Zoom has its challenges too, right? Uh, so we will get better at it. Um, and yes, although I have invested in equipment a long time ago, uh, there are new things that we had to get. Um, I have so much green screen now. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's crazy, like they're del they're delivering green screens and my drivers are going para san <laughs> They're like, why? What's this green screen doing here? But you know, because people, you can't just I cannot show every part of the house. I think I've shown every part of the house already. So the green screen, you know, transports you to somewhere else. Uh, and um, I think you know what I'm talking about. So you know, just gotta live with it and uh, try to make the most out of it. In lang, Audrey. Miss you, Audrey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Christian, the Perkins Twins. Yung Perkins Twins, hindi ata problem yung ano, Wi-Fi. Naka-fiber daw sila. <laughs> Charm. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for doing this, especially for the children. Parang yung, yung mga kids talaga ngayon yung super affected of uh, this pandemic. Ang hirap ng work from home yan, problema nga. And for, for, ano, for, for World Vision, um, thank you for doing this. And, ano yung target ninyo? Uh, what specific project for, for the children you wanted to, to achieve uh, by doing this uh, online concert? Yeah, Precious can answer that. Thanks, Aubrey. Zali lang, ha? Sure. Um, we wanted yung, uh, we, we wanted the proceeds to go to our back-to-school campaign uh, where we will provide learner kits to the children that we serve. So, yun yung first and foremost natin na uh, um, gustong uh, mangyari for the donations. And of course, um, yun nga po, we wanted to inspire yung ating mga kabataan by praying for them. We wanted to cover them in prayer kasi isa sa, isa sa mga kailangan nila yon at this time. So, yun. Uh, Nakamute si. Thank you. Ayan na, umiiyak na yung anak ko. Maraming <laughs> Ang hirap ng work from home eh. Thank you, thank you so much. Salamat, Aubrey. And thank you to our ano, ambassadors who answered the question. Uh, we have another uh, partner raising his hand. Gerald Uy. Hello. Good morning. Um, so, uh, my question is, 
uh, for the Perkins twins. Uh, you guys grew up in a Christian. So I'd like to ask, as young Christians, what kind of satisfaction do you get from joining this benefit concert? Hello. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the question was uh, for the Perkins twins. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You heard it right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I guess the satisfaction is is we all have the same, uh, I guess, goal in mind. We all have the same faith, and that uh, the fact that we get to work with uh, people of like mind uh, for the same goal, uh, there's a big satisfaction in that. Just you know, just uh, the. the to do what the Lord tells us to do, there's always a satisfaction in that. So when we get to help others, uh, we get to uh, work with, uh, uh, like I said, people with like my fellow brothers and sisters, and it's always uh, satisfying. It's always a great thing for us. So, uh, I mean, every time we do something with World Vision, we know that uh, they have the same goal in mind as us. So that's why we love working with World Vision with everyone here. So it's just, it's always satisfying. Yeah. And, and because not every you know company or organization we work with has those same values. So the fact that we're able to do this with World Vision, who you know, like my brother kept saying, their their real goal is to uh, not only help people physically, but what's the main goal behind all of that is to introduce them to the real hope we have, which is in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. So um, there, of course, that's that's the most satisfying thing that us, uh, you know, we we Christians are called to do is to. Um, introduce people to Jesus Christ so yeah wow. awesome yeah. well very well said well thank you oh, well sir Ogi just uh, said that Panginoon ikaw lang ang beauty for great this morning thank you guys thank you thank you okay uh, there's another question here uh, from Richard Mamuyak uh, Richard, can we unmute Richard? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Uh, morning. Just a simple question to everyone. Uh, just want to uh, actually uh, quite curious. Uh, how do you prepare for this uh, virtual concert? So, may pagdakaiba ba preparing like for a uh, face-to-face live uh, concert? Can I answer that? Go, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, this is also in connection to yung, uh, yung question ni Miss Aubrey, no? Um, okay. It, it, it's really, really, from a, from a production standpoint, from somebody who produces it, directs it, it's really, really difficult. Um, I understand, uh, you know, the artists, they, they, they struggle with the fact that they can't see, they can't hear a reaction, uh, reaction from the audience. Um, for the production team, it's, um, it's really difficult to to stay coordinated with each other, communication with each other, and then of course, like Quest said, uh, all of a sudden the internet drops. Um, you know, if there's one thing that's worse than the internet dropping on the stream, one thing that's worse is for me, uh, is when that the production team they all lose communication with each other. <laughs> Oh and, no! And, and the artist is just doing whatever na on stage. Hindi na namin siya control. <laughs> That's happened to me about three times. Um, and you know, like, uh, well, I, I, again, maybe like also, so it 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 has a lot to do with what Tito Ogi said. No, it's 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 the first time. It's a new industry. You know, uh, it's a completely new thing. Um, the the mindset of the audience is not like people who are watching TV. It's not like people who are watching in a live audience. Um, you have to stay engaged. Uh, for the script writers, it's more difficult because hindi na pwedeng, you know, we can't, hindi na pwedeng magkwento about random things na hindi connected sa, sa key message or yung biglang nagdadivert or kwentuhan lang or chika lang kasi yung mindset ng audience is if my internet is bad, I'm not gonna stay on this, uh, I'm not gonna stay on this channel. If the, if the song is not something I like, I'm not gonna stay on this channel. If the host is not good, I'm not gonna stay on this channel. Sobrang, sobrang, uh, ganong kabilis yung, yung, yung mindset or yung pag, yung, ang tawag dito, pag shift ng mindset ng audience. Uh, so it's basically like, 
learning to ride a bike again. That's what it feels like. Because every show that we've done, uh, I think I've done about six um, or about six online shows. Uh, this new normal na online shows, and every single show, um, you know, we prepare. We, we there's a new problem that that happens. There's a new challenge, and then we'll, we'll, for example, show number four. Sige, sige. We won't do this again because we're we want to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And then when the show happens, there is a completely new problem that we've never, you know, we couldn't prepare for because it's 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 new. The whole thing is new. Um, so, it, it, you know, I, I, I agree with you, Ogi. We really have to do our best. Like, kami, kami mga producers and directors, we, we need to work extra hard uh, to make sure that these artists, you know, are... are well represented are you know they have the, the the proper way we know how to stream them we know how to to shoot them uh we're we're all learning we're all learning so much um it's very uncomfortable but i i don't think na I, I, one thing lang that i i i might not agree with with regards to what the ogi said i don't think that this is just gonna be for a long time uh i feel like this is a completely new industry that's going to be there forever like like i feel like zoom is the, it's going to be there for good like we're always going to be doing this even if we can uh if we can see each other face to face even if there is a cure this is going to be part of the industry na home concerts it's going to be there of course we're, you know i'm praying i'm hoping for my sake that people <laughs> still go to live events <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um yeah i hope that answered your question it's it's just it's where we're all learning to walk again. We're all learning to ride a bike again. Um, it's it's quite a challenge, but it's when we do get it right, we do get it right sometimes. And when we do get it right, it it sometimes sometimes we get the same the same sensation, the same feeling that we get from a live um, event. Sometimes we're trying to make it all times. <laughs> So hopefully hopefully soon we will be able to perfect this new this new normal. And I am very confident, um, especially with the team that we're working with for World Vision. Um, they really care about the quality, they really care about um the the format, the 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 way it's done. They've been asking me a, a lot of questions um about the the technicals about you know the logistics and all that so i'm very confident that we're going to be able to produce something um uh that will have a very strong impact thank you paolo richard salamata we have our last two questions one from uh smart parenting and then ed boy uh, uh, by the way sorry um sorry i I have to step out er, um, a little earlier uh, than mm -hmm. everyone else. But thank you to World Vision. Thank you to the to the media who are here. Um, I hope I was able to answer some of the questions. <laughs> I'm very excited to be working with all these guys again. Perkins, I actually worked with you guys. Uh, I, I think I worked with you guys about five years ago. That was with Tito Ogi also in Ika. I don't know if you remember that. Um, uh, I put you guys in the jail booth, <laughs> if you remember. But yeah, I'm excited to work with all these guys again and uh, see you guys uh, at the concert. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Sir Paolo. Okay, last two questions. Let's entertain first Miss Jo for Smart Parenting. Can we unmute her, please? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Since wala na si Paula, this question is for Ogi. This is for uh, from Smart Parenting. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Ogi. As a parent, um, how do you help me uh, deal with what's happening now? Um, you know, that's a really, really relevant question because I often look at my son and, and wonder if he's feeling the stress that we feel mm -hmm. offhand i don't see it uh, i just see him talking to his cousins the whole day uh, on with facetime and um and they're playing online okay so because they can't do face to face they're doing that and i'm often thinking 
what about the other children out there who don't have the privilege of being able to use technology? Um, to answer your question, I try to talk to him a lot and explain to him what's happening and, and tell him how privileged and blessed he is as opposed to the other kids who don't have what he has. Um, he's now in school right now upstairs doing his online school and and he was like, he woke, he usually wakes up at nine, but today he woke up at seven, got himself showered and had breakfast, uh, ready to go to school. He was so excited. And we had some technology challenges this morning, so I couldn't att attend the briefer earlier. Um, and I could see just how excited he was to see his classmates, to see his teachers. And I'm watching him from afar. And, really so involved uh, with, with school. Um, I think he is really adjusting well to the situation, given uh, the challenges. And I think it's just up to Regina and I to constantly remind him that, you know, um, we don't know when we're, when we're gonna go back to, you know, the normal, but just do your best you know, uh, in school, uh, online, and do your best here in the house, do your chores, and be a good boy. Um, it, it's as basic as that. Um, we encourage him to pray a lot with us uh, and pray for everybody who is either sick or have lost their jobs or, or for our frontliners and especially our government. So... I think basically that as a father, uh, if I'm able to direct my son, now that he's turning nine already, he just, <laughs> if I'm able to direct him to God as early as now, I, I think that's the only thing we can do. Hey, thank you. Thank you also. Thank you, Ms. Jo. Thank you, Sir Augie. Our last question is from Ed Uy. He asked, to our artists, could you mention one or two songs you'll be performing and can your fans request songs for the concert? Uh, Who would like to start? <laughs> um, I think, can I start, Christian? Yes, uh, sir. I'm... Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I, I, uh, I haven't met with Paula yet, but I, I'd like to sing that new song. Um, there's other songs that I have in mind. I, I want to sing Beautiful, which is another new song that I have, which I call up with Moira de la Torre. I have a version of How Great Is Our God that I would like to sing. Um, I have another song called The Lord Is My Savior, which is a duet, but I can sing it on my own. Um, those are the things that uh, maybe I'm going to sing. And of course, yeah, I, I can take suggestions from fans if they if they have any requests for me to sing. Um, as I, again, you know, when I mentioned earlier, when we, I, I'd like to think that we were doing this concert to inspire people. So um, those are the songs offhand that I'm thinking of singing. That's it. Go, Christian. Ako po, I plan to sing a cover of Nandito Ako, a cover of go. Sige Lang Sige. Uh, ano pa ba yung mga kanta nila? Una ako na. Pa, sinasabi ko na Jose and Sir Ogi, ah, yun na yung kakantay. Para hindi nyo nakantay. No, I'm kidding. Obviously, um, I will promote and sing as well my uh, latest song uh, with my Indonesian friend Delon. It's called We Are Here. Uh, it's funny kasi we created this song during the lockdown and we were promoting it in the Philippines and in Jakarta through Zoom at the same time. Uh, most likely, the way you look at me is going to be there. Pero I'm more excited about uh, possible uh, collaborations or maybe production numbers that I can do with my co-artists. Thank you. Request? Oh, um, yeah. I'll probably do um, Sige Lang. Uh, I want to do that. I wanna also want to do Saludo to dedicate uh, to our frontliners. Um, I'm looking at singing a few songs that I've written for church gospels. I might do Grace Changes Everything was one of the songs that I've written. I might do your uh, Grace Changes Everything. And a new song uh, that is coming out 
from the new EP that I'm releasing in a, you know, in a month, that too, uh, Daydreams and Nightmares. So it's something to encourage people. I think that song is uh, very specific for those really uh, fighting for their mental health. So um, I want to touch base on a lot of issues that we've been you know, dealing with during the lockdown. But yeah, definitely Sigilang and Saluda will be there. Uh, I have a different, I have new versions now, so I'll be releasing a stripped down uh, percussive version of both songs. I'll be singing the two new versions of Sigilang and Saludo. Um, and Grace Changes Everything, and then the new one. And whatever request, if it's possible, let's do it. So I'm open to uh, suggestions. Thank you, Chris. The Perkins Twins? Yeah, so we're going to be probably singing, uh, actually we released two songs this uh, lockdown and um, yeah, it's called Smile and Life Worth Living For and those have never been performed obviously because the lockdown, uh, so this, this will be the first time we'll perform it live, so that's exciting. So Smile, Life Worth Living For and some of our older Nagaluk songs as well and maybe some hymns, uh, we love hymns so we'd love to sing some covers of some of those hymns. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be inspiring music and something people will like, hopefully. So yeah, yeah. And for sure we'll take uh, we'll be taking requests too. So nice. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's all the time we have for the question and answer. Thank you for your participation and enthusiasm. Um, now to close our virtual press conference for One Voice for Children concert, please welcome back Mr. June Godarnes. Hello. So I hope uh, clear you on uh, reception. Uh, so good to, uh, to, to hear from our ambassadors. Uh, thank you for uh, amplifying the voices uh, of, our, of the children, the families that we support and uplift. Uh, uh, you also amplify the voices of thousands and millions of Filipinos who pitch in their support to encourage and empower the Filipino children. Sabi nila, it takes a village to raise a child, and, and that's what we're actually doing here. So, tulong-tulong po tayo sa pagpapalaki at pagpapaundad ng kabataan. I, I once had a chance to meet some professionals, no, na guests namin sa isang event. No? I'm hoping we could, we could flash their photos here. No? And uh, they went to the stage uh, one by one, and... Uh, they shared kung, uh, kung ano sila before. Uh, merong uh, batang child laborer, no? merong batang galing sa mahirap na pamilya. They were sharing them, those, their stories. May mga batang uh, hindi naalagaan ng families nila. No? Mga batang may mga simpleng pangarap. May bata na ang gusto niya lang was uh, gumaling siya sa sakit niya na TV. May bata na who wanted to, to see an airplane. Uh, up close. And uh, one of those kids uh, never uh, left yung, yung Alabat Island you know, sa Mikezon. You know? uh, so gusto niya makapunta ng Manila or makakita ng iba pang places. You know? Meron mga gusto lang mangarap ng high school. Those were their stories. And uh, once in their lives, uh, naging bahagi sila ng World Vision Program. You know? And uh, uh, so, yan sila. Yan, yan, yan sila ngayon. No? Uh, um, because of the, the support that they receive from their sponsors, from their community volunteers, no? and siyempre mga gov government uh, offices as well, and the different partners of World Vision, nakalampas sila sa kahirapan. No? And nakamit nila yung mga pangarap. And uh, I think uh, most of our ambassadors here, we, you've been with us, we've been to different locations, uh, different area project sites ng World Vision, and uh, these are just some of the stories, but uh, there is more. No? So, ito yung before nila. No? Dati silang farm boy, dati bata sa mahirap na community. Um, after, sometime after they finished their studies, from child laborer, no? from a farm boy, naging businessman, employing 40 families in Nueva Isla. From a scholarship dependent, became the, now, he's a chief financial officer. Wow. Uh, yung isa dito wants to finish college. He just, he did, she didn't just finish college. He, and he finished magna cum laude in the University of Hawaii. 
no? Uh, yung nangangarap makita ng airplane became, became a UN delegate. Now he's an entrepreneur. No? Yung, yung batang probinsyano is now a marketing professional of Unilever. No? And his, he, he, he has plans of running to be a politician sa kanilang lugar. No? And uh, there's this guy na nakapang track and field. No? So from, from being a TB patient, no? na-overcome ngayon, and he became a palarong pambansa delegate and he was a champion. So whenever I look at this photo, I never fail to be inspired, to be encouraged dito sa ginagawa natin. Uh, it's, it's a world vision. So, pangarap natin para sa buong mundo. We try to do it. One child at a time, one family at a time, one country at a time. May pag-asa yung bayan natin. And World Vision has been around for 70 years, globally. Dito sa Pilipinas, uh, parating pa lang tayo dun sa 70 years. But gaya na sinabi nila, Ogi, uh, may, may, mayroong uh, pandemic or mayroong tragedy or wala, may crisis or wala, uh, we have to continue doing what we can to support each other. So marami pa pong stories na ganyan. Nakakataba ng puso. Uh, mag, mag, magandang, ano, magandang encouragement for us. So, malamang, meron din kayong alam na ganyan. Or baka kayo mismo, no? our friend from, from media, no? from the press. So, sana maging bahagi pa po tayo ng mas maraming kwento ng tagumpay. So, minsan silang inalalayan. Uh, ngayon, sila naman yung nagtataguyod ng voices at kinay sa mga kabata. They themselves are sponsoring kids with World Vision. So, they're paying it forward. They themselves are uh, raising resources para sa mga lugar nila. Meron pang mag- gusto maging politician sa kanilang lugar. So we want to be one voice for the Filipino children to advocate for their rights and well-being. We can also be one voice to speak life into them. Dami kasing negatrons no, sa ating uh, society. So we need to speak life into them, to build them up and proclaim the Lord's plans and favor for them. So I think that's what we're trying to accomplish. So. Salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating press launch at umaasa kami that you will continue to support us, uh, yung, yung ministry, yung gawain po ng World Vision at uh, we're really excited, we're thrilled. Uh, first time natin gagawin tong virtual concert for World Vision so we're making history here and kasama namin kayo sa paggawa nun. So magkita-kita po tayo sa One Voice for Children concert. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Kuya June, and thank you again to our celebrity ambassadors. And maraming salamat din to sa aming mga media partners. In one way or the other, kayo rin po ay aming mga ambassadors, ambassadors of children. And yun po, salamat for joining us. This ends our press conference for One Voice for Children virtual concert. If you have other questions, kindly contact Comco so that they can entertain them and adjust them to our ambassadors who are joining the um, One Voice for Children concert. Also, thank you, Comco, for helping us organize this press launch. We have so many things to look forward to in the concert, and I'm sure you are as excited as we are. We hope to see you on August 29. God bless you, everyone. Have a productive day ahead. See you guys. Bye, Quest. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.